Hey, it's Dan here. It's been a little while, guys. And um, thank you for the three and a half thousand of you who have subscribed to this channel. This is just a quick video about Apple Mail. I know it's a very simple thing, but uh, you know I've come across people asking about exporting their mail and uh, that sort of thing. So I'm quickly going to go over that. It's very, very simple. If, um, for example, there is a weird bug in Apple Mail, which if you send out, um, for example, we'll go into preferences here and we'll see my three different mails here. Don't worry about that. Connect to that. Um, three different mails here, right? I've got my Green Dad, I've got my Dr. Lima and DJ Menzi. Uh, these three accounts, I've got them enabled, so I'm checking the mail from these three accounts, right? Um, the problem comes where if you go into composing here, you can choose where to send new messages from, and I'd like that as my primary account. So we'll just select the one you want your mails to be sent from. The the weird glitch in that I've been coming across, some people have been having, is it has not been sending new messages from the address selected here. Now that is a weird Apple glitch. If someone can explain it to me, you know, you'll be teaching something I teaching me something I don't know, because I don't know what's causing this glitch. But for now, uh, as long as people can't tell me how to fix that, um, the only solution is to delete that account and start over. And now, if you go into if you go into accounts here, and you find your account under this area you can see the email address associated with this Google Mail there. If you go through and say the offending account was um, we'll call it Green Dad Productions for now. You want to delete that you just go minus there you want to delete that OK. That account is now gone and shouldn't cause you issue. Now bear in mind that will exist if you go to your browser and log in through Google through Safari um, that's still going to exist, that account. So don't worry about that. It's All your data is still on Gmail. So you haven't lost all your stuff. You've just lost all your stuff from your computer. Now, if you don't want to lose all your previous emails from that account from your computer, you want to export. And how we export is we select the inbox or inboxes that we want in this area here. So you just select that go to mailbox, come down to export mailbox, click on that and just select where you want to save it to, usually the desktop would be a good choice and click choose and see here it's creating an inbox.mbox file. Now for the purpose of this video this is going to take probably half an hour or so depending how big your, e your, your inbox is, mine is massive it's like 10 years of stuff so it's going to take probably like an hour to update we won't do that like as you see when we try and quit here it will say you know don't quit it's exporting but we will quit because we don't want to do that if we weren't going to quit we would wait for all of this to export so gen generally we'd wait for that and that inbox file would be there and if we ever want to re-import that we'd open mailbox here and this would all be empty, you know, that wouldn't be there. And we'd go File, Import Mailboxes, and then we would select Miles in uh, Files, sorry, in Mbox format, and see that's an Mbox. So we would click that, we'd go Continue, and we'd select that Inbox file and re-import. We'd choose that and re-import, and that would be that. That is how we export and import from Mailbox. Hope that helps somebody. And um, yeah, just just be aware you don't need to be worried about deleting accounts in in Mail. You aren't actually deleting all your mail; just deleting it from your computer. Anyway, cheerio. Hope that helps somebody. And um, have a good day.